Hello everyone, Justin here and today we're gonna do a little pencil shading practice again. This time on this airplane that we did in Sharpie and pen as a line black and white line drawing and you can see that I already did some shading here using some cross hatching but we're gonna continue on by using a pencil to shade this in to give it more form and make it look even more realistic. So let's just go ahead and start here by adding some tones here in the lower part of this wing and darken the inside of the engine area and here I'm gonna just go ahead and shade this whole cowl just because this part here is in red so it's gonna be kinda darker so the principles remain the same for the dark areas and the white areas so this part is actually colored red and this part is white so we'll still go ahead and add some gradient to show form but we'll make the red areas darker with a darker tonality so here I'm adding uh, some darker tones now getting lighter as we go to the top and darker here at the bottom and I will add some even darker tones using my 4B lead right here at the bottom to make this part really dark and continue our gradient to the top okay so same thing here this part's still red so I'm gonna go ahead and continue with mid tones as I did here so our highlight areas, our really light areas, will still be penciled in. But it'll be significantly lighter than the dark tones here. Again, to show that this part is a different color than the tail end of the wing. Okay, so just continuing on. One direction here initially all the way to the back continuing the design and then I'll go ahead and uh, go a different direction to add darker tones and I'm pushing kind of hard already you can see that I can only go so far as far as getting this the, my pencil lines to, to darken I can only get it so dark so I'll switch over to my 4B lead at this point and add some cross hatching here and I'm using lighter pressure than the 2B lead and you can see how it's already getting darker and now I'm gonna add a little bit more pressure to give it more dark tones to get the tones a little bit darker and darkest down here where it's in shadow okay all right let's continue down here and darken this a bit and you can see where I cross hatched that this is area is kind of darker so I'm just gonna darken it a little bit because this part's actually white so let's continue on with the landing gear so this part's white so I'm just I'm not gonna do too much there maybe add just a little bit of shadow form shadow okay and then this part's gonna be red so I'm gonna make this dark just color it in and give this more form then by darkening the lower areas and adding that gradient from dark to light again here dark going to lighter area okay I'll just add a little bit more shadow here because it's a little bit it's farther than this one okay so continuing on so this part of the fuse, fuselage is a little bit darker but now that the wing is coming out it's gonna catch a little bit more light so I wanna preserve a little bit of a 
difference here between this dark fuselage to this beginning section of the wing. So I'll still make it dark, but I want there to be a difference here between here and this part. Now this part of course is going to be darker. Alright, so let's go ahead and color the design part, the red areas. And there won't be much of a gradient here because this part's kind of flat. But the lower the lead the lower part of the leading edge will be a little bit darker, so I'll just add a little bit more dark tones there. And I'm just gonna leave this part of the wing white because it's really catching a lot of light. There really shouldn't be any shadow there. Now this whole area is white, but there's a three-dimensional form here, so we'll have to add a little bit of shading right here, form shading, a form shadow, just the right side here is going to be a little bit darker, and then continuing on to this part which is catching a lot of light, especially right here, so I'm not going to do anything there. Let's go ahead and darken the 7 because that's also in red and maybe just to add a couple lines here on the windshield a little bit more distinct right here and that kind of helps to show that it's glass so darken the shadow here and in fact I'll use my dark darker softer lead alright so again this whole area is white so I'm gonna just add a little bit of shadow here in the leading edge, the lower half, and then maybe the lower part of the fuselage. I'm just gonna add a little bit of tone here, just because it's not gonna be perfectly white, otherwise it'll look very flat. And what you can even do is, and that's what I'll do here, I'll just pick up some pencil some lead here, add a little bit of tone on the lower part of the white areas, just like that. And that should pretty much be it for this. And I'll keep this shadow pretty stark and clear, um, just because the shadow here is very close to the wing and there won't be much uh, dissipation of the shadow line right here okay and that should pretty much be it pretty easy exercise you can check out that other video to see how I drew this using a pen and of course you can use a pencil instead and continue on with shading as I showed you in this video so thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you next time have a great day